we will convert ETAB model into the MIDA chain. So for the conversion of the ETAB model into the MIDA chain, we are having one converter which is used means if you are having the, uh, the ETAB 2013 or 2015, you can use this converter. For the below version, you can directly export uh, the ETAB model into the MIDA chain. So first of all, we have to open the first MIDA gen, uh, sorry, ETAB 2015 file. And in the 2015 file, we have to go to the file and just say export ETAB's E2K file. Export into the one folder. I just exported into this one folder example. Save. Secure and return in this one. Okay. Now once I save it, I can open the this file. Now you can see this example this file is generated e2k file now go to the our folder and we have this converter which is etap to mydagen converter just click on this and run the file now it will ask you for the converter to convert to the mgt mgt means it is the mydas text file so first i will just open the file say example open and now if i say convert the based on the my unit story data points element connectivity it will tick on this option so if it is tick on this option so it will convert it into for the mgt file i just click it it will ask one notification if these are the data you have to again modify it once the mida gen file is generated story data need to be generated machine should be done wherever required if the type of the loading is not found the genet will take consider as a lie load then earthquake loading and the wind loading we have to generate it based on the our codal data for the uh, from the database otherwise as a point load it will directly taken care then section uh, is uh, which the representing as a star mark it is altered so you have to modify it over there in the uh, in mida gen model and the boundary condition standard will exported into the meta chain uh, if other the boundary condition if you define it so you have to change it again you have to define it into the folder i just say okay now you can see this file is goes the based on that unit story data point uh, element connectivity all these things are going and then the wherever you save this file the same folder it will generate the mgt file then it will say with writing completed just say okay and this one is generated just close it exit this file and now here in your folder you can see this file example which is midagen text file which is mgt file so now go to the midagen first open the midagen just say file new project file import midagen mgt file just say example open so it will open the file if just go to the display just say node just off this option now you can see this file now in this file the everything coming as a plate elements even the shear wall also coming as a plate element you have to change to the element type if you see in the works menu it's all the elements are plate element so you have to change the vertical element to the wall element and then similarly the which are the data you are having in the etap all the data will come here and in the in the section data if you see here you can see the star mark so everywhere the star marks are coming the star mark means these properties are not imported properly so you have to go and just again just say property and change this data because it will it is taking the by default value which is the 100 by 100 mm -hmm. so these are the things are available even the thickness and the, the boundary condition and the, all the loads even the dead load lie load uh, SIDL even the uh, earthquake loading also coming here as a point load if you want to keep it the same you can keep otherwise delete it and again in the loading you can define by using the into the mydagen folder